Welcome to Horizons, The Hope and Possibilities, an exhibit featuring 11 local artists. Hi, I'm Amanda Jean here. I just wanted to introduce myself to you. I'm a local artist here in Colorado Springs. I would say that I'm probably more of a contemporary abstract-ish type of artist, um, though I do try and play around with lots of different mediums um, and different styles. So a lot of my work you'll see is kind of all over the place, but a lot of times there'll be a lot of texture and I keep finding myself drawn back to painting trees. So that's one of the things that I included in this beautiful show that we have here at Croiser Gallery. So a couple of my pieces here. Uh, one of the things that I'm trying to focus on lately is reusing a lot of my canvas. So over the years with all of my experimenting and you know, trying to figure out what my type of art is and all of that good stuff. I've had several pieces of canvas that either never got finished or did get finished and I've kind of moved past them and I want to give them a new life. So these two pieces here in particular have both lived probably at least through three different paintings. Um, and this is their, their final destination and the, the final way that they're going to look. Um, so from now on moving forward, that's kind of the idea that I have going with a lot of my art is reusing what I already have, calling it a born again art, so to speak. So a lot of my art you'll see again is going to be a lot of texture, tree inspired. I'm really inspired by nature and colors and, and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Hi, I'm Amelia Davis and I'm a landscape painter and I usually take larger landscapes and shrink them into smaller sizes just so that I, or smaller views just so that I can get an intimate view of each part of the landscape. As a whole, I'm taken aback by grand vistas like this one and I have to paint the whole thing um, just to show the grandeur of the environment in which we live. I generally paint Colorado landscapes. Um, other times I shrink them down for example, I was on a hike um, up at the Catamount Trail Reservoir and I um, boldly gold it was and against the purples of the, uh, the background in the valley that we were in. So I have to highlight that one aspen, but the, the entire landscape was beautiful as well. Um, this one was a closer view of some wetland grasses that I found in an area such as this that I decided to zoom in on as if you were inside the grasses. Um, other times I paint from my imagination, like this one in Pilot Sanctuary was um, just a scene that I saw in my head, um, kind of reminiscent of stained glass, but to me being within nature in a safe place like this, is my ideal environment, so I guess I painted where I would want to be found. <laughs> um, and then so on, you know, the rest of these speak the same way. Uh, my goal is to highlight the color of our environment, also the different parts that make it up, and also just areas that are protected so that we can learn to appreciate all parts of Colorado, whether they are visible to anybody or whether one has to hike um, to a certain distance to find this part of Colorado that would otherwise be undiscovered. Um, I'm just trying to make it accessible to everybody. Thank you. I'm Jeremy Lavender and I've been painting in Colorado for over 15 years now and slowly gotten into the landscape which I absolutely love my friend Karen, a fellow <laughs> artist. <laughs> you introduce yourself. Oh, I'm Karen Storm. Um, I've been in Colorado Springs since 1976 and um, painted in the region, uh, but I also taught for uh, a number of years. I'm from Wisconsin. Um, I grew up in a family business. And, uh, greenhouse and floral shop and um, I think I, I would spend time in the uh, walk-in cooler with the flowers uh, just inhaling the aroma and absorbing the color 
until my mom would come down and say, where is that girl? She's going to catch her death of cold. And so I kind of, um, at that point, it wasn't until I really drew a flower that I kind of knew what I needed to do in life and um, spent the first part of my adulthood uh, teaching children and introducing them to an art for life. And then, um, and now I get to uh, have my own artful life painting, which I, which I love. The landscape really inspires me. And I feel like when I'm painting the landscape, it's like an act of meditation connecting with the world around me. So, several years ago, uh, when uh, the administration um, cut the size of the Escalante National Monument by half, I felt, I felt really badly because from the time I was a young child, we always had our vacations in national parks and national monuments, and Karen felt similarly. So we decided to put together a show that would feature the beauty of the Escalante National Monument. And this is pretty much the result of that. So I've spent the last year and a half really working out designs and, and painting sketches and the, the large pieces for uh, this exhibit on the Escalante. And it's been such a pleasure to really immerse myself in the in the beauty of that landscape. We traveled there together right. um, a couple of years ago just to um, get a, a do, to do sketches and photographs and just kind of immerse ourselves in the beauty of that area of the country. It's so um, inspiring. And uh, we both felt like we really needed to put together something that might inspire others to, um, to save the, the national monuments because we feel like they're such an important part of it. our culture, our history, uh, our spirituality. Uh, there's so many parts of it that inspire both of us. Right. Hi, I'm Dottie Lorette. I'm a Colorado painter and I've been involved in art since I was a little child. I went on to study art at Colorado State University and spent my professional career as an art educator teaching elementary through high school and college. And I just have a passion for art and sharing it with other people. I was originally trained as a potter and a silversmith, and then as a teacher, you learn to teach all sorts of things. I began my painting career with mostly watercolors and then evolved into the oils, which I love right now. Um, I'm inspired by lots of things, but our beautiful state was the inspiration for most of these paintings behind me. I see different landscapes as we travel, and I have to capture them with film. Sometimes I'm actually out there doing plein air painting if the opportunity is available. Um, I also am intrigued by light and by color, uh, things to just inspire me. A lot of times it's nostalgia. I'm a real fan of old trucks and barns and buildings. I like to do still lifes and we've even done a few portraits. And I just love to paint, and if I haven't painted for a while, I sort of get itchy. I feel like I've got to get a brush in my hand or draw just to express the beauty or the intrigue of something that I see. And so some of these paintings are, you know, from various parts of Colorado, and I see them with color, I see them with shape, I see them with pattern, and sometimes it's just um, the view that inspires me, and I feel like I have to capture that and share that with the, the rest of the world because it's so intriguing to me. Hi, I'm Julie McMinn Evans, and I am an abstract expressionist painter. I work here in Colorado Springs have lived around the Pikes Peak region for 
many years, and a lot of my inspiration comes from the beauty that we live in. My abstract landscapes are intended to lead the viewer into experiencing the landscape from a more sensory angle, kind of getting a feel for it. The colors, the lights, the shadows, um, the shapes and textures draw people in. And, and I want to express maybe, okay, we see kind of a horizon, but we kind of feel maybe what it's like to sit on the tall grass looking at the sky or back up against the rocks and the cliffs that, that surround us without really seeing it, but just kind of getting a feel for that landscape. Um, but a lot of the joy of abstraction is how everybody experiences it differently and you're kind of led into that story based on maybe what your own particular context of that is. Just as an example, um, I, like I say, I've grown up here and I've been here a long time, so my experience is kind of landlocked. But just one day as an example, I was um, showing my paintings to somebody and saying, um, what do you see here? And where I was seeing land and sky, she took it a completely different direction and was seeing water. And she says, oh, I see kind of a safe passage, like I've been on the water all day and I'm coming in for the evening. And, and that's something that's really fun for me with the art that I do is it takes people different directions and then they tell me what they've seen. So I get a lot of enjoyment out of, this, out of presenting this kind of work. Hi, I'm Pam Holmack. These are the paintings that I have here in the Crazer Gallery show, the landscape show. Most of these paintings, actually all of these paintings, are from Park County, which is just west of here in Colorado Springs. And we have property up there, and these are from photos that I take when we have been up there over the years. This is at Spinney Reservoir. Um, these are looking out over South Park. Most of my paintings are of Colorado and the West. Um, I do a lot of clouds, a lot of skies, a lot of landscapes. Everywhere you look when you walk around in Colorado is another painting waiting to happen. I've been painting my entire life. I, from the time I was a little, little girl, um, my parents enrolled me in art classes when I was in kindergarten, and I took classes my entire life. I went to college at the University of Northern Colorado. I majored in art education. I taught here in District 11 art for most of my career and started painting when my kids got a little bit older and between work and family I had time to paint. And when I retired, I started painting almost full time. Uh, I, I like to focus on what draws me to what I see, whether it's the light and shadow in the ground or the drama in the sky or the early morning sunset, a sunrise. Um, where we live in the springs, I wake up and look east, and so I wake up every morning and see a sunrise. When we're in the mountains, I look west, and so at the end of every day, I see a sunset. Color, uh, light and color are a big part of what I paint. Um, I'm drawn to the shadows and the light, and often you'll see strong shadows in my paintings. Although these of the clouds don't necessarily have those. I paint a lot in my backyard, also in the summer. So uh, my plein air paintings in the summer often are of my vegetables in the garden and the flowers in the garden. My husband and I travel a lot in the winter. I always take a small plein air set with me. And on my website, you'll see lots of paintings from my travels as well. Hi, 
I'm Terry Sanchez, and this is my work. Um, I've been painting for about 20 years, and um, recently I decided to do um, these trail paintings because of the um, just the intense love I have for nature and um, all that it enriches my life. Um, so I decided to paint, paint these. Um, trail paintings because they've inspired me. Uh, hiking inspires me and the love of nature and being out in the outdoors um, has been so uh, fruitful for my art career. Um, it's been a, quite a journey and I, I'm excited about going forward um, in any kind of art journey that is coming my way. Um, I, I'm just very grateful and grateful to my family, too, because we're always supporting me. Hi, I'm Wanda Beltcamp, Raven, Raven Wing Art. I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado. I've been here since 2011. Uh, prior to that, uh, I lived in Iowa and South Dakota, but I've been an artist for 30 plus years, but I won't say exactly how many. Um, right now, I work in oils almost exclusively, and the latest series that I did for the Horizon show was a series of plein air studies. And uh, most of these are all Colorado artworks that were done uh, on site or in studio from locales probably that you'll notice. Uh, San Juan Mountains, uh, Rock, Rocky Mountain National Park, uh, even a few on the Eastern Plains. So I hope that you enjoy browsing them. They are plein air type studies. They've created in a very quick manner with very intense colors, which is the way that I love to work at this time. So enjoy very much. Thank you.